And what is Bob Jones University doing to this student, this alumni or whatever he is? What about this page about me? Have you tried to suppress this page? Oh, no, you're in favor of violence, aren't you? Violence against grandmas? I'm going to be 55 years old. And these young studs on this page, we see their pictures. In fact, their pictures are right there. Some of them are bodybuilders. They're obviously very proud of their muscles. They want to know. They want you to know that they could hurt me. They are trying to intimidate me. And no, I will not be intimidated by swine who don't believe in the First Amendment. And I will repeat it. If you are white, I was speaking to Bob Jones, actually, not to this, this guy, but to Bob Jones III himself. If you are white, if you are black, if you are brown, if you are Asian, if you are Native American, I don't care who you are. Our civil law is the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. And if you don't believe in the First Amendment, you need to leave the country. If you think that's racist, I am saying it about every single color of person. Get out. You don't belong here. And you've proven that you don't belong here. You're intimidating people for exercising their First Amendment rights. I can sue you for trying to violate my civil rights. Now, if this is the kind of thing Bob Jones thinks is okay, you're disgusting. And that's how I feel. I wake up in the morning and I am given like five different emails, five different links to this page. Are you okay? Oh, you need to call the law and all of this kind of stuff. People scaring me to death. Is this what you traffic in, BJU? Well, you know, I shouldn't be surprised. Speaking of racism, wasn't the, wasn't the founder of Bob Jones University a Klan apologist or Klan associate or maybe a Klansman himself since they all wear hoods? How would we know? He obviously gave uh, sermons thinking that KKK was just fine. And yes, he did. And we can give you links to that if you don't believe me. He believed segregation was scriptural. And this guy's going to attack me saying, oh, I'm racist because I'm attacking Bob Jones. No, you're racist if you attend Bob Jones. Now, how's that, Mr. Joel Yamanzor? And, you know, this person scares me. Because he's from Oakland. I used to live in Oakland. Oakland people don't mess around. Oakland is the home of the Black Panthers. Oakland is known for people who carry guns and who don't mess around. And when somebody from Oakland threatens me, I take it seriously. I might not take it seriously down here in White Hampton because I know that you guys are all, you know, being observed very carefully. But this person is in Oakland. And he is threatening me from there. He must think that he can find me all the way here. He must think he has friends who can carry out his uh, little little uh, vendetta against me. This is what happens when women speak out. This is this is what happens when bullies, you know, decide to silence somebody. And this is the institution we're dealing with, people. We're dealing with a cult. We're not dealing with a school. We're dealing with a bully cult. Now, you have something to say to me? You can go ahead and say it.